the anger I've got is towards one person that took my son away. He's partly responsible for killing my son. If he'd never sent my son away to die in Iraq, my son would still be here, and it's Tony Blair. I blame Tony Blair for the death of my son. I always have and always will. I'll never, never turn around and say I'll forgive him. He knew what he was doing. And he's still, to this day, I think he's convinced himself that the lies he's told, he's convinced himself he's right. He's not convinced me and he's not convinced the general public. We all know that he's lied. We're heading down to London for the Iraq inquiry as Tony Blair has been recalled again. All the families are asking for is the truth why our sons were sent to Iraq. Why was there so many lies being told from the time the boys were sent in there? But as I always said, he doesn't see the coffins. When he shuts his eyes at night, he just sees pound signs. He's a liar! 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 My son was Fusilier Gordon Gentle, he was 19. He was killed in Baja in Iraq in 2004. I was actually watching the telly at my home that said a British soldier had been killed and I seen the body on the ground and the jeep being blown up but I kept looking thinking that's my son. I could just tell by the shape and by the side of the face and the boys were working on him trying to bring him back to life. I kept thinking that's Gordon. I think every mother knows their own son, their own, their own family. Just the way he was lying, just the shape of the, the body and his feet, <laughs> funny enough, because Gordon did have a size of nine feet, ten feet, so I thought, it's definitely Gordon. But I kept saying, no, I'd have been told, I would have been told. The army came to the work looking for me four hours later and told me that Gordon had been killed. So I'd actually seen Gordon lying dead in Baja before I was even told by the MOD. When he was younger, we can always remember him getting him new clothes. He went down the stair and the rag and balloon man was here. So Gordon decided to take his shorts off and his top off and give them to the rag man for a balloon and come back up the stairs with just a pair of boxers on. <laughs> that was just Gordon. He came in and says, Mum, I'm thinking of joining the army. But the first thing I said to him was, don't sign up, don't get into the army. But once he did sign up and we went his past night parade, we were 100% behind him, we backed. We did back him all the way, it's what he wanted, so he had our support. I think it's Gordon that's gave me the strength and pushed me and says, Mum, keep going. Somebody said that to me one day and I'm believing them. I think it's definitely Gordon that's kept me going and said, do it, Mum. Of course, I, I regret deeply and profoundly the loss of life, whether from our own armed forces, those of other nations, the civilians who help people in Iraq, or the Iraqis themselves. And I just wanted to say that because I think it is right to say it and it's what I feel. Thank you. Now, if I... No, if, be quiet, please. Please. Oh, I think it was a bad girl at the end. I don't think I could ever forgive a man, to be honest. No. No. He's took something away that we'll never get back. He can look at his sons grow up, get married, have kids. We've lost that. We'll never have that with him. So. But we'll move on.